Anyway, what's up, everybody? It's Terry the Hour with me, Killer Cow, and. Sexy Tony Midnight. I slipped my tongue off. I saw that. That's kind of gross. Oh, hell. <coughs> you like the sun? I like the sun. It's very sunny and, and hot. But every now and then I'm like, fuck you, sun. Yeah, like today I've seen fuck you, sun. I think they can see us better because last time it was like. I think the guy Tony could edit, edit this and put us in the house or underneath some shape. Like, let's just do some movie magic. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sit down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some magic. One, two, three. Holy crap! Why are you on that side? That, you better go tell that guy Tony in the back to not switch us like that ever again. Oh wow, man! Are you far out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever heard of this? this say, say, my say, say, my say, say. I was. Oh. I got this new app. App. Yeah, it's called Auto Rap. I. It's. I was. Cl I was gonna clown it, but it's actually a pretty funky tool. We haven't done that in the show before. Believe it or not, that's just me talking. Beautiful woman. <laughs> me just talking. I was like, uh, it's your smell. I could tell the heaven is sent. Blah blah blah. Beautiful woman. And then I said it. This thing oddly, automatically um, does it for you. I should check that out on my tablet. Yeah, I'll go do it. I'll go I want to have my tablet. Here, okay, watch, watch this. Watch, watch. I'll show you how dope it is. Dope it up. Dope it up. Dope it up. Tony Midnight. Kill a cow. We do this all day, and we do it well. I do this every night with Tony Midnight, and we are Terra the Isle, and we is badass like that. So I just talk, right? I mean, I do rap stuff, but. Oh, what? Kill a cow. Like both dogs, man. Five. Ravager. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 What's the plot? What's the storyline? It's the continuation of the brothers. Um going after the tall man. Oh really? Yeah. I have to I have to if anybody can send me uh, I, I, I here they did the ultimate gift which I thought was badass high five by the way. The yeah. ultimate gift. Uh the uh Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So that was a long time ago. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking for because uh, I'm a I'm not a big fan uh, but Phantasm was one of the first movies to scare me. Next to Exorcist but that was just is an ending, yeah. Yeah. So, the Phantasm, I, I always liked it. I just couldn't find, you know, the collection. So, I'm now wanting the collection. So, if anybody can send us. Do, do you have a collection? I think it's like a hundred something bucks, man. Happy birthday to me. It's a ball. It's the actual, like... And that's on Derek. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Right? It's a ball, and it has the, the freaking, the blades coming out. Yeah. And then you open it up, it's all the discs, all the movies. Nice. But the 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 poster art for Phantasm Five looks freaking cool. I seen the uh, teaser trailer that they put out. Uh, it it I don't want to say anything bad about it because from the teaser it kind of looks like you know because everything was shot at Reggie Barrister's uh, home. He has like he has a he has a big area. He's a, a good sized house and right. area where they can film and stuff like that. But um, it's not directed by Don Cascarelli this time. It's oh, really? Directed by somebody that he, he, he I guess he approved of. He's like, oh, and this guy, this guy is gonna, you know, do the 
I don't know if it's a final installment because Angus Scrim is not getting any younger. But Angus Scrim looks the same, though. <laughs> uh, completely the same. I mean, you go back to the first one. Was it seventy nine or? 78? Yeah, he looks. I mean, he looks. Different, but his, his facial expressions. Yeah. That's what ki- that's what gives it. I mean, like and the uh, white hair. Yeah, it's he still looks the same to me. Like and I saw that picture that. Plus, she's still freaking eight feet tall. So he, if for people who don't know, uh, Phantasm. Slender Man was a total ripoff of of that. What? <laughs> yeah. I never even played Slender. Slender and the 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 theory behind it is like you're running away, running away, running away, and if you get caught by Slender Man or Slender, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Same thing with Phantasm. The tall man's gonna get you. So that's where they got the idea from. Boy, yay! I do play for the NBA. Remember that one time you said, I said, you don't play for the NBA. Never mind. Phantasm 5, what do you think? I think it's going to be awesome. We um, get, if compared to, uh, I mean, uh, the, the budget, probably, they had to, they had to utilize what they had, you know, work with micro what they budget? had. Micro no. budget? It's not a micro budget. I mean, it, the, there's a good fair amount of CGI in the movie. But, I hope so. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, to, to me, it was just looking like old, like Sci-Fi Channel type style. But Sci-fi if it, if, 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 if I know, but if it, if it's done, you know, I just, I just gotta I gotta wait and see it. Well, I gotta I, wait and see I it. Tell you what, we've been waiting. We've been waiting like what from the last movie? Was it almost ten years? Something like that. Not plus? even ten years. I think more like sixteen something. Yeah, like yeah. plus. Uh, Plus you're about 12 or 13 in, in the early teens. I know for a fact you're going to get it. So once you get it, come to my house and we'll watch it. And then we'll I'm do not going to get it. Why not? I don't want money. You probably find, you, you had money to waste on that Dutch damn German rip off of that movie you bought. What that was what, five bucks? It's a penny. It was a penny? Yeah, plus plus shipping your hands and it's four bucks. It's not going to come out in theaters, you think? I don't think so. Direct to DVD. Either but that, either that, or they're gonna shoot for a world premiere on either Chiller or Sci-Fi. <sighs> I'm gonna get my cable up and running. Oh yeah, I hope they put it on Netflix. Cause <laughs> anyway, come on Netflix or just to let you know. You uh, are. Yes, I am. Somebody too, turned I'm me on to Netflix. I've been getting into Netflix too. I've been getting back ever since uh, uh, The Walking Dead ended. Like you know, a lot of us walking in the fence like, what are we gonna, what are we gonna watch now to fill the void for the next six months? And I'm getting into X Files. X Files. Getting uh, back into Mulder and Scully. Scully. Was hot. She always did. Well, she well, when, I was, now. when I was at that age when X Files first came out, I only liked it because you know all UFOs and creatures and murderers and you know the the whole mis- mystery. Stuff. Right, right, right. Now you're looking at now it. Now I'm looking at it, and uh, from, I, was, I was watching the pilot episode the other day, and there's a scene where she's in the bathroom, skinny ready to take a shower, she's in her underwear and a bra, and I was like, oh my god, Julia. 